Hello there, welcome to Digital Access Pass. My name is Veena Prashant. In this video, I'll take you behind the scenes to show you how you can create a Netflix style buy button or a rent button to sell individual pieces of content, whether it's audio, video, WordPress content. You don't have to create a product. You don't have to create a buy button. The paper post feature in DAP will allow you to sell access to your videos, to your content without creating a product for each piece of content. It's one of the easiest and fastest ways to start selling your content online and it's very easy to set up. So let me show you how you can do this. Now, there are two ways you can do this in DAP. Number one, paper post, where you can enable paper post option for the content that you want to sell. Your users will have the option to buy it or rent it, or they can purchase membership to get access to all of your content. And another way you can do this is by creating a content store. This is something very unique to DAP and our shopping cart plugin for DAP called Smart Pay Cart. Now you can create a content store using Smart Pay Cart. You can select content that you want to make available in your store and SPC will allow you to create an instant store. In this video, let's take a look at option one, which is paper post, where you can enable paper post option for the content that you want to sell. In the next video, I'll show you how you can create a content store using DAP and SPC. You can do this with both WordPress pages as well as posts. So here, this is a post in WordPress and here, this is my content. And you can see there is a paper post section towards the bottom of this page. Now this is from DAP and currently this is turned off. So I'm gonna turn this on and you can see here there are five different tabs. Let's take a look at the first tab. Do you want to enable paper post? This is set to yes. So here you can see there are three different payment options, buy now, rent and purchase membership. So if you want to allow users to purchase it for a one-time fee and then get full access, lifetime access, you can enable this button. If you also want to give them an option where they can rent it, meaning they can purchase it for a one-time fee but get limited time access, you can enable this button as well and purchase membership where they can just purchase membership and get full access to all of the content that's part of the membership so they don't have to purchase individual items like this and once they purchase membership uh, then going forward any post or page where a paper post is enabled if it's also part of the membership then they don't have to purchase it individually uh, they will get access to it as part of the membership here i have enabled all three options select currency you can select your currency here pricing here you can see for buy now i have set this as 10 rent i have set this to 5 and how many days of access if they rent it i have set this to one it's up to you how many days of access you want to give them if they rent your content versus uh, purchase it uh, for a one-time fee and get lifetime access the buy now button will give them lifetime access uh, to your content and membership this one is connected to your product and app you don't have to set the price here it will pick up the billing and access details for your membership from your product settings in DAP. now select a DAP product earlier i mentioned that you don't have to create a DAP product for paper post however you still need to connect it to a product and app so it doesn't mean you need to create different products for different uh, pieces of content that you want to make available as part of paper post uh, but you still need to connect it to any product in DAP. You can connect it to an existing product or you can just create a dummy product. Let's say you call it paper post and just connect it to that product because everything in DAP is product based. This will allow DAP to do all of the content protection stuff and order management stuff because all of that is product based. So you still need a product, but it's only used as a placeholder just so DAP can continue to do uh, the stuff that it does in the back end. And another thing a product will allow you to do is you can set a welcome email in that product. So when users purchase your content, if you want to send them a welcome email, a generic email to thank them for their purchase and send them their membership login credentials, you can use your product's welcome email to send them that information. Now you don't have to upload an image, but if you use the storefront feature in SPC, where you want to allow users to purchase individual pieces of content in your store, uh, then this will be used there. Payment mode, if you want to Test it in sandbox mode first, set this to sandbox, and once you are done testing, make sure to switch this to live. I'm going to leave it as sandbox for now. Next, do you want to display teaser content? Now this content will be displayed right above your buy now or rent button. So you can set this to yes and enter whatever you want them to see. So here, this is my post, and I want them to see, for example, this part, and I want the buttons to show up right below this, then I can just enter it here. And you can customize it. What message should be displayed to not logged in members? Sorry, this content is for members only. You can update this message. What message should be displayed if users do not have access? If they don't have access, then it will show them this message. You do not have access. You can add anything else you want here. You can update this message. Next. 
Now here button configuration. So do you want to display any message right above the button? So any message that you want to display and this message will be displayed right above the buttons and customize the text. This is the text that's going to show up, but you can change it and update it to whatever you want it to say next. Here you can see the payment options. This integrates with SPC, which is our shopping cart plugin for DAP, which is what we recommend. It integrates really well with SPC. Or if you just want to use a regular PayPal button, standard PayPal button, you can set that too. So say that you use SPC here, please select checkout URL. So earlier I mentioned the cool thing about paper post is that you don't have to create a payment button in SPC for each piece of content that you want to sell. All you have to do is uh, select a checkout page URL. So just create a checkout page in SPC, a common checkout page, which will be used for anything that you want to sell using paper post. And here you can just select one of them. I have several checkout pages that I have created. I'm just going to select this one. And again, this is not a buy button. This is just a checkout page. You just have to create a checkout page once and use it. Now enter membership button URL. This will allow them to purchase entire membership where they can access not just this content, but anything else that you have made available as part of the membership. And button layout, you can pick from one of these templates. So say that you select this one, next. Now landing page, what should happen after users complete the purchase? Do you want to refresh the same page? Because say that uh, this is paper post. So they click on the button to purchase the post. Now, if you set this to refresh the same page, so when the page refresh happens, it will figure out that this user now has access to the content. So the whole page will unlock and uh, the buttons that were there before, the buy now button, the rent button and all that will automatically disappear because the user should now have full access to the content. So you can do this where you can just have DAP refresh the same page, or you can just redirect to a completely different thank you page where you can thank them for the purchase and let them know the next steps. So that's completely up to you. I'm going to just use this one, save. That's it, really straightforward, very simple setup. In the general settings, you can enable paper post and uh, you can select different payment options, set the price. And in the messages, you can specify teaser content, you can Enter message for not logged in and logged in members that don't have access. In the button configuration, if you want to display any message about the button, you can enter that here. You can enter text for the buttons that you have. And payment button, here you can select a template layout. And you can also select checkout page where users can complete the purchase of that content. Again, this is just checkout URL. You don't have to create a buy button for each piece of content, just the checkout page URL, which is a common one for all of your content. Next, a landing page, what should happen after they complete the purchase. So that's it and go ahead and save it. All right, so now let me show you the user experience. All right, so let's go ahead and check this in the front end. Let me show you what users are going to see uh, if they don't have access to this page. So here I'm not logged into DAP and you can see this is what it shows. I'm visiting a page where paper post is enabled and uh, the buttons are here you can see and it says, sorry, this content is for members only. And that's because in the back end. I have configured it to say, sorry, this content is for members only right here when users are not logged in. If you want to change this message to something else, if you want to add your login short code from DAP here so users can log in, you can do that too. It's completely up to you what message you want to show them here. So say that you have someone uh, who is not yet a member who does not have access to your product, your content, uh, they visit this page and they are interested in this content, then they don't have to be logged in. They can just click on the button to make a purchase. So say that they click on this button, buy now. It'll bring them to the checkout page powered by SPC. I'm just going to go ahead and fill this out. So I have filled out the checkout form. I'm going to go ahead and click on place your order. As you can see, purchase is complete and now this page has unlocked. So before there was a button here, buy now button, rent button, but uh, that button has gone away now because this user has purchased this content. Now they can access this content. After the purchase is complete, you can go to DAP payments orders page. You will find a list of all of your payment orders. The ones purchased using paper post, you will see there is a resource ID here for those. And if you click on it, it will tell you exactly which post was purchased using this. And also there is a filter by option here. So you can select paper post here and say that you want to find all the purchases made for this specific resource. Uh, this is a page or a post that you have in WordPress. If you copy this and you enter it here, and search for it, it will show you all the payment orders for this content, all right? And you can see all the other details here. Also, if you want to create a My Content page for your paper post content, then you can go to DAP Member Pages and click on Create New Member Pages. Here I have already created one. I'm just going to edit and show you my setting. All right, so this is a My Content page, and you can give your content page any name you want. 
you can just use the default options here. It doesn't matter because uh, we are just going to use this feature to display paper post content, all the content purchased using paper post feature. So here you can see under the template type, there are five different options. You need to select this one, paper post content, all right? And then there's just one template, click on it to customize it. It's going to show the details in this format in the front end. And if you want to change uh, the font, the font size, font family, color, all that stuff, you can do it here. And then next, preview, this is how it's going to look, next. That's it, all right, so it's done. So this is the My Content page for your paper post content. And you can send users to this page or you can add a link to this page in your members area. So users that purchased content using paper post feature, they are going to see all the resources that they have purchased. Or you can just copy this uh, short code and publish it anywhere you want in your members area and uh, publish it there. And this is how it's going to look in the front end, really simple. Here I'm logged in as a user who has just purchased this one resource. That's why it's looking like this. If they purchase additional content, it's going to all show up here. That's it. This is how it works. As you can see, it's really easy to set up. In the next video, I'll take you behind the scenes to show you how you can create a content store. My name is Veena Prashant. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.